to the second demo on rendering. If you're at a loss when it comes to creating realistic renderings, you've come to the right place. In the next few minutes, I'll walk you through eight quick and easy steps to show you the best settings for creating renderings like these. In the first rendering demo, we saw how important lighting was when setting up your drawing. In particular, we saw how important it is to have enough lighting in your room. In this demo, I'll continue with the same event file. First, let's click on one of the tabs containing the shortcut to the render wizard. I'll click the virtual view. Then I'll click the shortcut icon. It looks like a small camera. The wizard includes a series of eight steps with a lot of options that look much scarier than they actually are. The settings you choose affect both the realism of your rendering and the amount of time it takes to complete. In this first step, I'll use the mouse buttons to set up the view that I want to render. You can zoom in on a particular object in the room, or you can zoom out to show the whole room. And here's a handy tip for you. To move the image around laterally, press Control on your keyboard and also press the left mouse button and drag the picture around. That's one of the best things about working in a 3D program like Vivian. You can highlight any angle of the room. You could even show the underside of the tables. Phew, thank goodness there's no gum under here. In this window, you don't really have to bother with scenes, the camera, or the ambient light settings unless you're a rendering pro. You can get very professional results without using these features. Click Next. In Step 2, you choose where Vivian will save the rendered image. Basically, an external image is stored in a folder on your computer. An internal image is stored on the Images tab in Vivian. You can also specify the size of the image in pixels. A good standard size is 800 by 600. It looks great on almost any monitor, and you can print it out at 8 by 10 without any distortion. But just remember, the bigger the image, the longer it takes to render. Click Next. In Step 3, you can add haze or smoke to your rendering. Both these options add texture and depth because they highlight every single beam of light. For a subtler effect and faster rendering, choose Haze. For a bolder look, click Smoke and then use the sliders to adjust the levels. And here's another tip. If you've used recessed lights, it's not a good idea to use Smoke. Click Next. Step 4 lets you control the shadows in your drawing. Generally, the more realistic the shadows are, the more realistic the image. Atmospheric creates the greatest realism, but it also takes longer to render. It's really only necessary if you're using very fancy lighting effects or a lot of smoke. In this step, I'd choose Objects and Subtle. Click Next. Step 5 lets you set the way light is reflected off of objects in your drawing, also known as radiosity. Choose the quality and then select the number of bounces the light will make as it's reflected off of objects. Just note, greater quality and more bounces increase both realism and rendering time. With best quality and one bounce, the image is still really good. When using radiosity, make sure you disable all ambient light in the room by clicking this checkbox. This is the only way you'll actually get to see light bounce off of objects in your drawing. Note that when you disable ambient light, this sample image gets darker. To give you an idea of radiosity's effect, here's a rendering without radiosity. Notice how the light isn't reflected off the backs of the chairs or the sides of the tables. And here's the same rendering with radiosity turned on. It has more depth and more realistic lighting. Click Next. Step 6 is very cool if you're designing an event outdoors. You can tell Vivian where your event is located, the time of day, and whether the day is sunny or overcast, which is very easy for all you psychics out there, and then Vivian will calculate the position of the sun and will light your event accordingly. My event is inside, so I'm just going to click Next. Here's where Vivian creates a sample rendering for you. But don't worry, it's just a rough image. I'll provide a bit of background music while we wait for the image to appear. <laughs> Et voila! Here's the image. Use the sliders to adjust the brightness and saturation. For the greatest realism, I like to leave the saturation at about the third notch, and I leave brightness at zero. If the image is too dark, you may have to go back and add more lights to your drawing. Click Next. 
Phew! Almost there. In step 8, the last step, you can really control the realism of your rendering by choosing the proper anti-aliasing setting. It's a fancy word that basically means the smoothness of all the lines in your drawing. But wait, there's a catch. The smoother the lines are, the more realistic the image, but also the longer the rendering takes. If you have the time, choose best to create the most realistic image. Click Finish when you're done. And that's it. Vivian creates the rendering for you. All you have to do is sit back and wait for that beautiful image to appear. Thanks and happy rendering.